Hello and welcome to XCMS Online. This video will show you how to upload data through the Java Uploader onto the website. Uh, in, this in this video I'll be using uh, a Windows 7 computer and my web browser is Firefox Mozilla. If you use a different browser, uh, the steps should still be fairly similar and without complications. So let's get started. Now, first thing you want to do is make sure we have the latest version of the Java. So we'll go to Google and we'll type in Java download. Now if you type this in, it should be the first link that comes up. Java free or download free Java software. You'll click on this and you should get a window that looks like this. Version 8 update 31. This is what you're looking for. You'll click free Java download and it should change to this. Recommended version 8 update 31 and the file size. Agree and start free download. You'll click this and this should come up. You'll save the file and depending on your web browser it'll go uh, straight to your download folder within the web browser. Being Firefox, mine is right over here. So we'll just click on this and you'll see that it's right there. I've downloaded it a few times and it's already installed. But for those of you who don't have the latest version, you'll want to continue on with the installation process. So just double click on this and hit yes and continue on. I will click no since I already have the latest version. Once your installation is complete, we can continue on. So let's do that. Now, before we actually go into the XMS Online website, we'll have to make a few changes to Java. And in order to do this, we'll have to go to our computer's control panel. So let's go down here to, start, to the start menu. Click control panel located here. And you should get this window. Now we'll go to category and click on large icons. From here you'll get this window with all these icons. The one you're looking for should say Java 32-bit. It should look like this. So we'll double click on this and this new window should come up, the Java control panel. Now we'll go to the security tab which is located towards the top and click on this. Now we'll want to go to edit site list. Click on this and your, your window might not have any websites in here or it might, but regardless we'll be adding a few of our own. We'll actually be adding three. So the first will be, uh, keep in mind that all the websites that we're going to be adding will have HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. So let's do that. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash XCMS online dot scripts dot edu. Okay. Now we'll click add for the second one. Again, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash XMS online one dot scripts dot edu and the final website will be also https colon forward slash forward slash XMS online to that scripts that edu. We'll click OK. And now you can see that they've been added to the list. You'll want to make sure that it says HTTPS for security reasons. Now we can click OK. We can close the control panel and continue on with the XMS Online website.
Now we can log in. We'll close this here. Go to the home page. And from here, we can continue on with the uploading with uploading our data. But first we'll want to go to the account tab located on the top right and go to user settings. Now over here towards the right you'll have uploader tech. By clicking this arrow you'll see Java and HTML5. Now we want to do the Java so we'll click on that and click save and you should get a verification on the top of the website. This right here. The preference has been saved for Java. Now we can continue on with our our data. So we'll go to store data sets and now we'll go to add data sets. Now for those of you using Java for the first time you should get something like this. This window will pop up and you might get some of these red X's or errors and it might just look a little strange. So we'll, in order to fix this we'll click on this red brick located on the top left of the window. From here you'll get something that says block plugin. We'll click on the arrow and say allow and remember. And we'll do the same for the second one. Now by clicking allow and remember uh, this should be the first and the only time that, these, that this uh, error should come up and after this time uh, you shouldn't have trouble uploading any more data in the future. So we'll click OK and it'll take a second and now you can see that Java has come up with a new window saying do you want to run this application? Name Jump Loader, Publisher, the Scripps Research Institute. This is a, some software that we created that would allow us to upload your data through the Java software. So click Do Not Show This Again for, free, for apps in the publisher and location above and click Run. This window will come up with security warning. It says XMS Online 1 and the jump loader by the Scripps Research Institute. This is all fine, so you'll want to click Do Not Show This Again and Allow. Now, from here, you can see on the left that you have your file tree where you should be able to access and find uh, the data that you want to upload. Mine is in uh, my desktop in this folder called sample and these are the two files that I'll be dot d files that I'll be uploading. So now that I put them in the upload window I can click upload now and you can see that the process has started or will start shortly. Okay. So now this window has popped up. Do you want to run this application? Publisher unknown. But the location is XMS online one that scripts that edu. This is from earlier when we were putting it in to the security tab of the Java control panel. So this is totally fine, even though it believes it may be a security risk. Um, we'll just click accept and accept the risk and want to run this application and click run. Now this will come up again. The jump loader is a software created by the Scripps Research Institute so it's totally fine. We'll click do not show this again and click run. Now that that has uh, happened you'll see that the upload process has actually started now and we'll continue on with this file and the next file and any other files that you've put into this 
area here. Now, this may take a while, uh, so I'll come back when this is finished. But keep in mind that once this upload is complete with all the files that are set into this area here, this window will automatically close and you'll be left with what's in the background here with your new data set at the very top. But I'll come back to that once the rest of this upload is complete. Okay, it seems like our new data set is complete. Um, and it has now appeared over here at the top of the list of data set name labeled as new data set. Over here you can see that it is active. The upload is complete. It carries two files. The file size um, and its ID number. So now we can click on new data set and see the files that we've uploaded. Now if you follow the steps correctly um, there should be all your files in here. So essentially I hope this video helps those of you who are having trouble with the Java uploader. Um, this should correct all issues. Um, I'd like to thank you for your time and for watching this video. And that concludes this video. If you have any questions or concerns, you can contact us at xmsonline.scripts.edu. Thank you.